Okay, so I don't know if you realize that your dog food supply stores are set up a particular way um, and it generally runs from the lowest quality food to the more expensive uh, brands. And so I was walking through this store and um, I find that it's set up uh, a little differently. And so it's almost kind of sneaky because what they did is they started out the lowest quality in the middle of their premium foods but goes from the lowest quality Royal Canaan Pro Plan hey baby hi gotta say hi <laughs> yeah. then you got your Hills Corporation all right then you have to go let's see um, to the next aisle which begins I'm sorry which begins your mid-range um, brands and so these would be your mid-range and so obviously um, the lower quality um, is the lower quality of ingredients and uh, and lower quality of price, uh, more inexpensive. And so we're still kind of going up through the mid-range brands. Hi again, we're seeing you on the other side. And then here, we're starting over to the higher quality foods. And so technically, the aisle would start down here and we're looking at kibble so um, so based on how their store is set up this is their lower brands and I bet you're surprised by the common names here we are at a mid-level food and then we're getting into the higher quality foods hey baby hey, you say hi again <laughs> hi <laughs> and here you um, have like the honest kitchens um, the M and D you got signature Instinct, your Cana and Origins, into Open Farm. This side is all the toppers and the freeze dries, but we're looking at just Can I be for anything? kibble. I'm good. Thank you. Um, here we got from, which is kind of more midstream, into. But usually if you walk through a store, you do uh, find their, um, their flow. Usually it starts at the lowest and it builds up to the highest quality in foods. And that's based on, again, it's going to be based on your pricing, but um, that's not how they set up their aisles. They set up their aisles based on the quality of the food itself. And so... If you're shopping, obviously depending on cost, um, but quite frankly, some of these prices are not cheap. So here, let's see, we got $19.98 for a five pound, and this is 
1598 for a Redford, which I would consider a middle. But here you got, how many pounds is this? This is five and a half pines for 23.98. No, I'm good, thank you for asking. So price-wise, isn't that great of a difference um, between a lower brand and a higher brand ingredient and quality of your foods. And it appears they're treats, starting at the lowest quality building its way up. To a little bit of the higher quality. And again, Merrick Wellness would be Stella and Chewy's. You're getting a little bit better quality. Zooks. And then over here, your biscuits again, low quality for the biscuits. Moving up to Old Mother Hubbard. Again, you got your Stella and Chewies. So, if you're, uh, anyways, and the same is true when you're looking at they're raw somewhat again not quite organized in the lowest of quality because you've got your fresh pet right in the middle of your uh, let's see what have they got fresh pet which is don't buy don't buy fresh pet um, you've got small batch which is a good quality you've got these are your gently cooks Stella and Chewy. So I would consider those to be a pretty good quality. This, I have no idea. Anyways, then you're back to your Stella and Chewy. You got your Primal, Instinct, again, Tucker's, all good quality. So this store doesn't do bad with their products in itself. You don't see a lot of the lower, uh, quality foods like uh, Beneful and things of that nature. But um, anyways, well, hope you guys uh, learned a little something. And so if you're out shopping and you're not sure what you want to do, at least you know how your store is set up and that can help you with deciding between dollars versus quality.